Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Nebraska today, and the thing about Nebraska is I'm not really sure that it's real. Uh, one of my very good friends says she's from Nebraska. I think she might be lying. I don't think it's a real place. Uh, or, or, you know, sometimes in, like, fantasy uh, books or movies or something, they'll, they'll, like, cast a spell that makes it so someone, they're not invisible, but but you just kind of like glaze over them with your eyes. It's like you can't really perceive them. They're not memorable. I think someone cast that spell over the entire state of Nebraska uh, because every time I think about it, the second I stop thinking about it, I stop caring. Uh, but anyway, we're here. We're here. So let's see if this video is memorable enough to last us through to the end. We've got... I, I skipped past a $4.5 million farm that was, I mean, it was really just selling the farm. Um, this one is 3.8, five beds, 11 baths, and it looks very much like a manor. Like this is kind of, is this a colonial style? That's kind of the vibe I get from it. We've got ivy, we've got a flag. Um, let's, let's see what this has to offer us. Here we got this very red brick path up to this very red brick house. Did they turn the contrast all the way up on this picture? Because I feel like my eyes have broken. And we're inside and we've got, oh, we've got murals on the wall right away, right around the front door. We've got murals with fake fences. Uh, that's the fake fence. I I have nothing against a mural. A well-done mural, I think, uh, is a rare thing. They, it's so easy to do them badly, uh, but a, a good one can add something to a space. If there's a fake fence in it, it is automatically a bad mural. This is a bad one. Um, it looks like we've got some interesting woodwork on the floor here. Oh, no, no, no. Where are, what is the, <clears throat> this place is going to test me, I can tell. Are we going into Narnia? This is, are, are we in a dollhouse? What is this weird phallic statue? What is this chair for? Why is it staring at the door? This isn't a big enough foyer to have a chair staring at the door. Why is the railing like that? Oh, 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 oh. What is that wallpaper? What is that wallpaper back there? I'm, I'm, a, I'm afraid, guys. I'm afraid. <laughs> what? This entire thing is a mirror? Why is it a mirror around the fireplace? Why is everything green and pink? And well, who picked this? This is, I think I've seen Russian nesting dolls in this color scheme. I don't think I've seen anything else. The, the floral, why do all the florals match? I'm... <sighs> the curtains are so much with the big tall valences. Why are the valences above the crown molding? Why is the, what, the mirror? I can't deal with the mirror. Oh, oh God. All right, here's, here's the staircase to Narnia. What is this cut into the wall? Is that a pagoda? It looks like a little white pagoda statue. Why is that there? Why is there a spotlight over it? I'm, this is, this is the lantern that Mr. Tumnus has lit for us to go into Narnia. We're back in the living room. I don't want to be back in the living room. <laughs> the floral chairs are those leather. Look at the shininess on those i can't tell if it's just a weird fabric or a flash i don't know my eyes are broken look at this mural on the wall i take back everything i said about murals being okay i'm this has ruined murals for everyone until the end of time what is this depicting this is this is like in in an egyptian tomb when the when the pictures on the wall are supposed to tell you a story but i don't i don't think i like this story I don't know what it is, but I think it's a bad one. Oh, the guilt 
I just know this is going to be a picture of a creepy little girl. I know it. I know it in my soul. It's going to be a creepy little girl. And she's going to come alive at night. And she's going to come out of her picture. And she's going to kill people. Who lives here? Who put this pink carpet in this room? And why is the pink carpet like so far down on the list of problems? I am going to lose it. Oh, thank God this is this is a much less stressful living room. I don't know that it's good, but anything, anything to get me out of it. Why is there a giant, a tiny doll chair? What? <laughs> Did the haunted doll that usually sits there walk away? Um, hmm, whew. All right, we got multiple sitting areas, but they're not like closed off from each other. So I feel like it's not fully falling into the too much floor space for one sitting room. Oh, I just noticed, I just noticed the light fixture. Are those antlers? <laughs> we've seen, we've seen antler chandeliers before in Indiana, but I, I don't think we saw any that had quite so many tiny lampshades. <laughs> Why are there so many tiny lampshades in the antler chandelier? Ah, oh good, there's a cuckoo clock because I'm going cuckoo. Um, we got a little dining area over here. Um, I'm, I'm going to be unwell by the end of this video. I just know it. All right, here's another view on this room. Good, I'm not emotionally prepared for any new information. This lamp is a dude. Okay, okay. I love that they've got the little museum lights over every single painting. That's so much. We got a, a bookshelf with lots of books on it. All right, we got we got book lovers. I think this goes through to the room that I'm afraid of. Um, I think these are fake books on, on a fake bookshelf end table. What, what is that rabbit doing there? Is it? It's looking at me. The rabbit's looking at me. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, okay. The the wallpaper is quite a lot. The shiny ceiling is quite a lot. Um, all of this glassware, quite a lot. Um, there's there's just for a room with not that much stuff in it. Uh, it's far too much. This picture over this weird little couch i i feel like this is a a painting it, it's very cartoon like it's almost anime style and i feel like it's a painting of this house if it was a normal size but this house is much larger than that um this painting you just walk right into that that's another portal to narnia uh that's how prince caspian starts but it's the sea of corn instead of the actual sea Mm hmm no no why is this happening this is happening to me personally okay i need you to understand everything that's happening in this room is a personal attack on me these two chairs that are facing each the spotlight above the fountain the these doors are fake they're fake doors to a fake balcony in this weird little circle room what what is happening? I have not even talked about the walls because I can't, I can't talk about the walls. I'm, I'm still, I'm still experiencing the trauma. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Why is this happening? Oh, thank God we're back in a room I'm familiar with. Okay, we got really a light over every single little painting. I think that one's a painting of a dog. You don't need those lights over every single one. Um, we've got little strip lights in the bookshelf. I feel like that's actually kind of a fun touch. All right. I feel like they're just giving me, they're giving me like a breather and then they're stressing me. This is like a stress test. They let me relax a little, little and then they come at me again. What, is this tile? Did they make this out of tile? Like, look at that. There's grout in between. And oh, this is what we saw from the front hallway, I think. Uh, what are these? Are these little people? These, th Those are birds. I think those are little people. Who's he? 
what is he carrying? Is it a weapon? What he's got an empty bird cage and this menacing thing here. I don't like the look of his hat or face or and I think he is haunted. I think he's a spirit and he wants to hurt me. Oh my god, we're only 17 pictures into this. There's 93 pictures. I this might be the one that kills me. This Nebraska. Okay, this is why this is why Nebraska can't exist cuz this place can't exist because if this place exists in the world, I can't cope with that. This carpet. No. The walls, the way the, I would I would complain about the monochrome uh, chair, the the chair rail being painted the same as the wall. I would I would whine about that for minutes in any other house, but there is just so much else that is so much more wrong in here. Uh, these paintings, they're ominous. The table doesn't match the chairs or the rest of the room. The carpet, mm, no. Oh, I I just. I don't know what to address first. Do I address the fact that this tile is is f fucking insane? What is happening with this tile? Why is it on so many walls? Do a backsplash. Like that's that and then normal walls would be a cool detail, but you've done all of them in it. Second, why is the stove two feet away from this chair? Why is there a sitting area with a plaid couch in the kitchen space. This this kitchen island is like in the middle. That's that an island is in the middle of the kitchen, which means that your sitting area is injecting itself into the actual kitchen space. Um, th that's just dust up there. That's nothing but dust. Is that a tapestry? I can't handle that right now. Um, oh boy. All right, it's a nice sink. Uh, we got a porthole so that we can pretend we're on the ocean. We're in fucking Nebraska. Oh, not the two halves of this room don't match each other at all. Why are there so many plates on the wall? With like a couple of plates on the wall is like, I don't know, a quirky detail that's maybe a little old fashioned, but there's five over this couch. They're at head level. You're going to hit your head on those plates. And then there's 10,000 of them over the stairs. Look, there's more here. There's more here. They're everywhere. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We are not looking at any new... Oh, that's wallpaper in there is going to upset me. I just know it. All right. We've got more plates on the wall, more pictures on the wall there's things happening in there. Why is there a rooster? I don't... Okay, this... It's a nice sink. It's a nice island. It's a nice sink. The fridge was allowed to be a fridge. We got stacked ovens. We're looking at things that make sense. Why are these pictures so low to the ground? You really didn't have to do that. You could have just not hung them up anywhere. There's too many pictures in this house. Okay, the ceilings are enormous. And you know what? You don't even get the benefit of like the, the glory of the lofted ceiling or whatever the fuck you're supposed to be going for because it looks like a completely different room than this weird tiled crap down here. All right, we are into the room attached to there's a man on the banister. There's a man on the banister. This is attached to the kitchen. There's the dining room through there. Um, got more. I think that's where the spirit, the tiled spirit man is. Um, haunted child, haunted child alert. Uh, we've got more plates on shelves over here. There are officially far too many plates going on here. Got a second dishwasher, a smaller one. I think that's for drinks. I think this is a bar area. These chairs don't match at all. What? Like, yes, it's a thing to have a more elaborate end chair, but that's that's just a sitting chair. That's just a sitting chair that's supposed to be in a living room. It's not a dining chair. Why is it there? Look, there's more plates. Um, they painted this door. Why did they paint the door? This room, there's a skylight. Why is there a skylight? I'm not receiving any new information. I am calm. They have the extra chairs to put on the end of this table. 
They just decided to put sitting chairs there. Okay. We are in a secondary kitchen because this is a fridge that's masquerading as a cabinet here because you can't let them know you eat because if you let them know that you eat, then the spirits might try to eat you. That is the reason in this house. Uh, this entire room is wood, which is... Normally, I would say it is boxy and claustrophobic, but here I am just soothed that there's no wallpaper. I don't want to know. I don't ever, ever, ever want to find out what is in any of these cabinets because I'm sure it would upset me. This wallpaper is far too loud for a bathroom. Why did they paint the ceiling this dark color? Um, that's all. That's all. Haunted child. <laughs> No, we're entering Narnia and it's everything I feared. We have a emerald green carpet. We've got weird borders along the tops of the walls. And we've got haunted doll furniture around this weird railing. Did they paint the walls black in here? I can't even tell which walls are mirrors. Multiple walls are mirrors. It's empty. How could an empty room have so much to say? What is that? I have zero guesses on what that might be. Again with the... They wallpapered the fucking ceiling. They wallpapered the ceiling. I can't... No, it's tile. They tiled the ceiling. And there's marble. Why did they do tile and marble? Why would you do that? It doesn't even match. The tile does not match the marble. There's carpet. There's green carpet in this bathroom. I'm going to lose my shit. What the fuck? There's the shower. I didn't even notice that was the shower. It's got a shitty shower door and I didn't even notice it because why would you put green carpet under the shower? Why would you do that? This is a war crime. It's around the bath. Ah, what even is the layout here? Why is the sink here? There's no mirror over the sink. Is this cabinet attached to anything? Is it just floating here? I am stressed. I don't know what this room is, but I feel like it's an oasis. I think it's because it's white. I would complain about this room being all white in any other house, but I am I'm soothed. There's a nice little nook in here. I think if anyone ever forced me to go to this house, I would just, I would crawl into this nook and refuse to leave. That's what I would do. Again, we have wallpapered and or tiled the ceiling to match the top of the wall. That's, for the record, unacceptable in every way. Um, we've got that in addition to a colorful tile. I, I hate everything that's happening right now. That's carpet. I just know that's carpet. Oh, the emerald carpet continues in here. We have a busy wallpaper. It's frankly, this would be a busy wallpaper in any other house in here. It's, it's not that bad. I've seen, I've been through worse just moments ago. I was th going through worse than that. Um, there's a little desk here. Um, don't say Bloody Mary into that mirror, whatever you do. Uh, we got a TV so that we can ruin our sleep hygiene, but I can't imagine that you have any sort of sleep. How could you sleep in this house? I mean, the visual overstimulation alone must keep you awake, not to mention the ghosts. Oh, God, this, this would be a hotel room if it was not so horrendous that someone would have to pay you to try to sleep through the night in this room. Oh, we've switched to a, a nice cerulean carpet. Okay. And, and the walls are white. And this room is objectively atrocious, but I think it's the best one I've seen so far. Honestly, this bathroom is vaguely normal. You know what? They put all the horrible ones up front. <laughs> so I would look at this atrocious fucking bathroom and go, yeah, this is fine. This... <laughs> Just give me, give me, uh, 53 more pictures of this and we'll be fine. I can handle this one. Oh, they've got to stop wallpapering the ceiling. I don't know who 
put out some article at some point saying that was okay. There, I'm sure there are circumstances in which that's a cool, fun thing to do. But I mean, it's it's like telling people that they can rewire their own homes. Sure, some people can figure that out. The majority of Americans should not attempt it. It looks like we've got some cool glasswork on these doors. This still has the, the kind of creepy Victorian haunted child vibe, but it's it's a little more subdued. We've got full sitting areas here and this chair with its back to a table facing the bed for some reason. I don't like that. Um, that fireplace definitely lights itself in the night and spirits speak out of it. My dudes, we are not halfway through this house and there are draperies on the ceiling and the curtains match the wallpaper and there are mirrors on every wall. This house was designed to trap a spirit inside. That's what all the mirrors are for. The spirit can never figure out how to get out of the house because the mirrors are disorienting. Why? Why are we in a circus tent? Oh, it's through to another carpeted bathroom. Good. I was, I was worried that we might be done with the carpeted bathrooms. There's glass shelves of knickknacks around the bathtub just in case you wanted to be worried about glass falling on you while you are naked in the tub. Uh, we're in a closet. Closets seem fairly safe. There's a haunted horse poking out of this wall, but honestly, I will take that. I will take that over everything we've seen so far. Oh, they do love the tile. I don't know what this space is, but it should not be tiled. Also, that microwave, that is from the 80s. Again, why are you combining this elaborate wallpaper and or tile with the marble? The marble is colorful. It's green. You're supposed to do something sedated on this wall to balance out the green colorfulness. And you've got a black shower. You, this chair? I do not sit in that chair. Whatever you do with the ominous stained glass. I like stained glass. That stained glass is ominous as fuck. Do not sit in that chair. Something bad is going to happen to you. Why are there stairs? No, 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 no. This is a shower. That's a sink. This is a bathroom. Why are there stairs in the bathroom? What is happening? Okay, so this chair, this is a dressing room here. We got more ominous stained glass. Still don't sit in that chair. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, at least it's not wallpaper. That's what I'm going to tell myself. It's very red and they painted the ceiling too for some god awful reason, but at least it's not wallpaper. Okay. Okay. Got another porthole. We're in Nebraska, people. Why is there a three by four grid of pictures? Oh, we're outside. Thank God we escaped. We made it, guys. Let's not go back in, okay? Whatever we do, let's let's not go. I don't know how they made this weird pattern on the grass. The swaths of grass, that is not natural in Nebraska. They are watering the fuck out of that lawn and or spray tanning it. Oh boy. Yeah. Nice big mature trees though. I'll give it that. I feel like they made the, the path this red as a warning, you know? Red is supposed to be a warning of danger, and they did. They warned us. They warned us not to go inside, and, and we did it anyway. Oh, look at these very neatly trimmed hedges. Got some soothing outdoor spaces for when you are terrified to go inside. Got a little haunted gate here that makes a really creaky noise when it opens up by itself in the middle of the night. Oh, and uh, good. I love that you have to go through this brick alleyway to whatever this fountain altar thing is here. That's, you know what? This is, this is all, this is all just them giving fair warning that nothing good will come if you go down this way. This is like a shrine here. Oh, that's a big ass tree. We got a little, oh, there, there's like a, a little ob observatory on the back of the house. I don't think we saw that or or we saw it and I was too panicked by everything that I didn't notice. 
I'm getting a little nervous that they might send us. We're only 63 of 93 in. I'm, I'm very nervous they're going to send us back inside. I don't know that I can handle it. Okay, we got some nice outdoor sitting areas. That's good because if I came to visit here, I would refuse to go inside. I would insist that we sit out here. Dead of winter, I don't care. We're sitting outside. All right. Oh, there's a pool. All right. I, I'm, I love that they're making use of the outdoor spaces because obviously there's nothing good is happening inside. We've got lots of, lots of overhanging trees. I mean, there's a ton of greenery here. It does give a little bit of like an ominous in the woods sort of vibe, but as long as we're not inside, I'm okay. Oh, and there's a little hot tub in there. Hey, that's all right with me. Giving us lots of views on this. Starting to get optimistic. I'm starting to get, a oh no, don't show me doors. That means you're going to take me inside. Oh, oh no, they're just showing, they're showing us uh, this, this other little three seasons room from the outside. That's, that's fine. That's safe. Got lots of nice ferns. Oh, we're, we're in like a cupboard area. We got string lights. That's festive. Uh, these chairs, I think are from the great Gatsby. Oh, we're inside. We're in, okay, we're in the three season rooms. There's a lot of windows. We can still see our, our means of escape. Oh, we got a hidden fridge. We got a hidden fridge because you can't let them know you eat. You can't let them know you eat because you eat the souls of children and you don't want them to find that. Uh, we got strange animal statues. Okay. We got little outdoor tables. I mean, this is, this is kind of, it's really, it's an indoor space. Uh, you know, I get having like outdoor furniture on like a screened in porch. I feel like a three seasons room is really more of an indoor, indoor space. But at least it's not carpeted. Oh, we're going deeper. We're going in. A lot of white here. I would complain, but I'm I'm not complaining about white in this house. Any white room in this house, you know, I just wish it had padding because that's where I need to be now. Got a gigantic curtain around the base of this countertop here. All right. We got an urn of somebody's ashes in the bathroom. This is the same kitchen. Okay, this is the same, this is the three seasons room. This is the same kitchen we've been in. All right, yeah, this room, this room is officially fine by me. I don't care that there's multiple seating areas. I don't care about anything anymore. I just don't want to go back to that haunted living room. We're back outside. Zooming out and out. And from above, we, that's a big pool. All right. Um, I think that three seasons room was maybe off here somewhere. That might have been like a guest house. Uh, everything looks fairly interconnected, though. Little covered sitting area. Kind of hard to get to. Well, I guess there's this path here, but it is kind of hard to get to except by the pool. Well, that's Nebraska. This has been a horrific experience. I now know why I don't think Nebraska exists and, and why it falls out of my head. It's, it's repression. I'm going to repress these memories as soon as possible. And, uh, oh boy, I'm, uh, what a fucking nightmare. I'm, I'm not scrolling back far enough to go back into that house. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough emotionally. Um, I, I am sure that I missed things in there because I was busy having a stroke. Uh, so if you noticed anything, um, feel free to leave it in the comments. I may or may not read them. I might read them through my fingers going, oh my God, I can't read any more information about this house. Um, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll calm down later. It's always a possibility. Uh, other than that, you know, like, subscribe, and have a good one.